Hey Warriors, so I'm sure many of you have already seen our Maze Day recap video, but just as an added bonus, here's our spotlight on some amazing clubs. Hi guys, so we're MSJ Fimmerk. We're a branch of the larger Fimmerk organization and Fimmerk stands for Foundation for International Medical Relief of Children. We're a club located at the intersection of public health, medicine, and service. So every year we take a project from the larger framework organization. We raise money through that, through BOVA fundraisers and other things like that. Um, on top of that, we also hold a lot of events for students to kind of get to know public health professionals, medical professionals, and just really get familiar with the field. And so over the next year, we're, we're really excited to continue doing all of that. And so be on the lookout and sign up for our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at MSJ Framework. Hi everyone, we're Mission Japan. This year we're super excited to get to know the freshmen and welcome them and introduce them to the Japanese culture, especially since everything last year was online. Yeah, we're also super excited to resume our annual activities such as our annual Christmas KFC party and visiting Japantown. So a lot of our officers are actually part of the Japanese program and this program will be retiring next year. And while we're pretty sad about that, we're still pretty uh, excited about the fact that we get to leave this legacy behind in the form of a club that can basically represent Japanese culture for all of us. So we're MSJ Boldly Me, and what we do is we prepare and we give presentations to elementary schoolers across the FUSD district. Why our club is important to the community is that we believe in planting a foundation for younger kids so that they'll be able to learn stress management and really like how to communicate effectively at a young age and so they can carry that with them for their whole life. Hello, we are GSA, that stands for Gay Straight Alliance, and we are a community club uh, built on having a safe space for each other. And you do not have to be queer or trans to this club. Uh, this is just a safe space for everyone. But we also provide educational content. Um, so we have lectures about cultural exploration and history, but we also have scientific exploration about the biology behind sexuality and gender. Um, really wonderful content, it's honestly, given me so much um, and it's helped me feel so connected to the community and it's just so such important uh, information that I think everyone should know and yeah I really hope to see you there thank you so much hi so we're academic challenge we're a club that organizes a bunch of different academic competitions that basically are very fun and very much team building so every year we have around 45 different competitions. So we have Science Bowl, Science Olympiad, Ocean Science Bowl, Quiz Bowl, and History Bowl. And each of these, we have regional events. We have, and if you get past the regional events, you usually go to states or nationals. And we also have a bunch of different invitationals every year. And that's basically what we do. Hello, I'm Joshua Shi, president of MSJ Impromptu. We're a music club at Mission San Jose High School. Every month we'll have performances, either for in-person senior concerts, or now, because of COVID, we have online uh, video concerts that you can submit videos to each month. And hopefully, uh, we'll see some of you performing this year. Thank you. Hi, this is Mission Cubing Challenge Club Booth. Um, so, hey, I see you're like a random person. What is that you're holding? Uh, I don't know, honestly. What is this? Oh, well, that, my guy, is called a Rubik's Cube. So, uh, you want me to show you how to solve it? All right, well, I'm holding a mic, so I'm going to do this one-handed. So, a little bit more about our club. Uh, we meet, well, we're, our goal is to meet at least once a month. And um, we meet with Mr. Marple, and he's actually a staff member who knows how to solve a Rubik's Cube, which is pretty cool. And we invite people of all different backgrounds. If you don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, that's totally fine. If you can solve it in 10 seconds, that's also totally fine. And the biggest benefit of joining our club is that people think that you have a massive brain and it's a great skill to flex. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put this mic down and then solve the cube and then you'll see like how big my brain is. And then in case you wanna replicate that, uh, you can join the club. Yeah, this is Mission Cubing Challenge Club. Hey MSJ, this is the Mission San Jose 3D Printing Club. We have many 3D printers. If you'd like to learn the skill of 3D modeling, designing, 3D printing, anything for aesthetics like this, uh, or an industrially designed part, anything would work. As long as you have an interest in 3D printing, I welcome you to join the 3D Printing Club. Hi, 
everyone. Um, we're at Miss Day Paws. We're the animal club on campus and we hold events and meetings to talk about spreading awareness about different topics in the animal community. We hold activities such as going to shelters, going to zoos, having guest speakers come in. So if you guys are interested in this, totally sign up. Yeah, and if you're more seriously considering veterinary medicine, we're also introducing a new opportunity uh, for an internship at a local vet clinic. Thank you. MSJ Young Mentors is a volunteer service club at Mission High School. Uh, our goal is to tutor K-6 students in uh, various subjects such as math, science, English, because we believe education is the best way to empower them. So uh, in the math club, we hold weekly lectures, uh, usually on Thursdays at lunch. We talk about a variety of topics, including stuff to prepare for the AMC. We also review AMC problems occasionally. We really hope to inspire people to enjoy math during their time at sc uh, high school. Yeah. So in terms of games, we have all types of games from consoles to PC. Uh, we mainly focus on games like League of Legends, Overwatch, Apex, Valorant. We also have CSGO, Rainbow Six. But, you know, there's chances for all kinds of people playing all kinds of games to connect. Like, I play a lot of weird games, Sachi plays a lot of weird games, and we have a chance to connect with other people who play those weird games. So Core Dance Club is a club that meets up once a week um, on Thursdays outside the flex room during lunch. And basically we just teach choreographies of all different styles, jazz, contemporary, hip hop, kind of everything. And you don't have to have any like previous um, dance experience to do it. That, I mean like we're teaching you, right? So like that's kind of the whole purpose is to learn something new. We also hold auditions sometimes for sports assemblies and things. So yeah. Hey future superheroes, um, I'm from MSJ Key Club and I'm here to give you guys a brief 30 second introduction about our club. We're one of the largest service clubs at Mission and we're also the oldest internationally led um, high school service organization in the world. Um, we're a really amazing club and we essentially hold uh, at least two to three service events every month, including a fundraiser and also more general meetings. Uh, I really recommend joining if you're just looking for a welcoming and fun environment at the school. It's a super good opportunity to make friends earn leadership positions and also become more involved in the community. I really recommend this club and if you guys have any questions you can feel free to reach out to any officer and we also hold bigger division events such as FRN and DCMs but um, if you're just thinking of joining uh, you will have to pay a membership fee and we'll be releasing more information on that later so please remember to join our Facebook group and yeah. So I'm really excited this year for like in-person events since like after this whole entire year online while like the online events were like still really cool and interactive, I'm like really excited to see everyone again, especially since like Interact is part of a really big district. I'm really excited to meet people from the other areas in our district and just like get to know people more, especially after our year online and just like see them off of Zoom and see them in person, not just like this computer screen. So I'm really looking forward to in-person stuff. I guess the reason why you should join DECA is just because it's a community. Um, at DECA, we're all really hardworking. We all love business, marketing, business administration, and we'd love to get to know you. So if you'd like to join, uh, meet new people and compete along the way, then I think DECA is for you. Hello everyone. So LEO stands for Leadership Experience Opportunities. And today I just want to tell you about the largest service event that we had, which was the all you can eat crab event in about 2018, 2019. Basically we had almost uh, 50 volunteers come that day to help with the fundraiser and give out the food to the event managers and also all the guests. We had almost 40 people, as I said, and it took off almost half of the volunteers for that event, which we are very proud of Leo for doing that this year. In the coming year, um, we want to try to get ourselves into more competitions. So this means competition in other colleges, against other schools, online colleges, things like that. We also want to try to hold more practices and like meetups so that we can like bond more with our teammates and like create a nice loving environment, I guess. Um, one fun event we had before is organizing for multicultural week performances, which would we would do weekly meetings and we would not only practice our performance but also having visit places such as Chinese restaurant um, and the boba tea places and basically have fun as a group. So MSJ Inno has a variety of guest speaker events. One of my personal favorites is Catherine Sazov, who is the founder of Strella Biotechnology. And she really inspired me to pursue a, a career in engineering and entrepreneurship. 
Hi MSJ, my name is Jackie Wong and my favorite part about MSJ Genshi is the fact that it can provide you with so many different opportunities and connect you with so many different kinds of people. For example, during my first Genshi event, which was the Worldwide Makeathon, I was able to meet so many different people across the entire world, including Singapore from New York. It was an amazing experience and since then I have truly loved this organization and I'm so passionate about our mission to bridge a gender gap in the entrepreneurial and leadership landscape. I really hope you can join us on our mission and yeah. I guess one conference that we actually did together was the incarceration rights of prisoners in third world countries. And that was really interesting because it kind of shows you what prisoners have to go through in situations that aren't as ideal as the American already messed up justice system. So I would say that the biggest difference we make is we help a community that's often really hyper isolated, especially during COVID. They were stuck at home and they weren't able to go out and make friends. And high school is a time where people should expand their social life. And so during this time, it's really important for them to just really work on their social skills. And I would say helping them make friends and just brightening up their day is the biggest difference that we make. Okay, so the MSJ Computer Science Club has weekly lectures every week talking about computer science concepts related to competitive computer science as well as more practical applications. So we're CSF, basically it's the California Scholars Federation. And for scholarships, we actually have multiple scholarships within the CSF organization because it's a nationally recognized organization. So the same more scholarship is for CSF members who have been over for four semesters in a row, which is about two years and you can contact us if you want to apply. In terms of other scholarships, there are plenty of scholarships from many organizations from throughout the whole world that are giving away money or opportunities for people. And in October and around spring of every single year, um, we have personalized scholarships. We have a Google form and people just fill them out um, and we give them a list of scholarships that they could qualify and they're interested in, whether it's in money or like an opportunity for a job or some uh, internship or anything like that for scholarships. So basically we provide that for you in the October and in the spring. So stay tuned. Thank you. So my favorite part about MSJ Picture Perfect is definitely seeing the kids go from having no experience in photography and coming out of this club with a lot more experience in photography. It makes us feel like that we let off a bigger legacy to our club and also really like the in-person photo shoots. And that's all for our clubs. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day here at MSJ.